Hey everyone, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com. We're here today to go over the installation of our brand new Minn Kota Raptor Series Anchor Light. First thing we're going to do is take everything out of the box. I want to cover what comes with the Raptor Series Anchor Light and then some of the extra stuff that you're going to need to complete your installation on this product today. We've got our right side of our Raptor Series Anchor Light, got the matching left side, of course our Anchor Light itself and then four little installation screws. All right, some additional items you're gonna to need to complete this installation include wire crimpers and strippers. You'll need a few zip ties to get your wires tied up to your hydraulic hoses. Gonna need a small Phillips head screwdriver and some wire butt connectors. Also recommend either having a lighter or a heat gun to be able to shrink those on as well too. The first thing I want to be able to do is actually lower the Minn Kota Raptor down to make the installation easier. Next up, I'll grab the two side pieces and start assembling it on top. All right, guys, we have our two sides here. To do this installation, we're just simply going to match these sides up to where they lock into place. Then we're very carefully going to pull the red pieces off here of our double back stick tape. Next up, we're just gonna peel these apart and actually put them on the Minn Kota Raptor anchor. Make sure you got everything lined up correctly over those holes, which we do. And then we're just gonna firmly push on that double-sided stick tape and that'll hold that in place while we go get the four screws and screw these two pieces together. All right, next up, we're just gonna take our four screws that are included with the RMP anchor light, and we're simply gonna screw these two pieces together. Now, this is important that you don't over tighten them because you will pull them out, and then it kind of negates the whole prop, uh, process, but these will screw in place, so. One. And the last one. Perfect, just got them tight, not coming apart, nothing loose. Next we'll grab our anchor light and put our anchor light in and start running our wire. We're gonna feed our wires through and then we're gonna reach under the mount and pull our wires out the bottom side. When you get to the tag end, we just simply screw our anchor light in place. And now we just have to simply run our wiring down and into the boat. Okay, we're gonna run our wires through the channel of the Raptor, going over the brace and over the cylinder right here. We'll snake those things through. Get to pull those tight. Still making sure we're running through the top part of the cylinder. Through. And then we're gonna come out the very back base here, right where the hoses come through for the hydraulics. Now in this point right here, I wanna make sure you get it pulled tight. 
I'm gonna grab a zip tie and actually zip tie this down right here at this point. So that way our wires stay above the channel and don't interfere with any pinch points. That way you don't break any wiring on this. Now you may need additional wire or additional zip ties to be able to make sure that your wire doesn't get caught in any pinch points. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this up the rest of the way. Okay, after we get this wire zip tied up, we're gonna take this back transom cover off our Skeeter and run it into the boat. Now, there's gonna be a lot of different ways these things could be installed. They may have the hose fittings coming through the stern. They may have a hose clamp. The important thing is, is I like to follow the hydraulic hoses up into the boat so we can get over to our rear anchor light receptacle. All right, now that we've got our wire run through the transom of the boat, all we have to do is basically snake it over to our rear anchor light receptacle and splice in the wires there to have our anchor light live. All right, we're gonna remove our rear anchor light receptacle. We're gonna feed our Raptor anchor light wires through there, and then we will cut these wires and splice them into place. We're gonna cut our wires here. Which just so you guys are aware, the black wire is negative and the white wire is gonna be our positive. All right, we got our wires pulled through here. I'm going to strip these down. So I've got our black ground, our white hot, and I'm gonna do the same thing on our receptacle. So I'm stripping down the ground wire and the hot side. And I'm simply going to twist the two white wires together. We're gonna take our wire butt connector, we'll slide it on. And we're gonna crimp that in place. And we're going to do the same thing with the negative side. So we're going to take our two negative ends, our black wires here. We're going to twist those up, grab a second butt connector, slide it on and crimp it in place. And we will also sh heat shrink these when we're completed on here. Now, the reason I am doing what we are doing here. So once we make connection to the boat side of this, not only do we have our anchor light on our Minn Kota Raptors that will now be in function, we will still have power to this rear anchor light receptacle for two reasons. If you happen to break our anchor light off on a tree branch or a co-angler on a cast, or if you are running a powered YOLO tech or a powered GoPro mount, this function here still has power, so it's still charging your GoPro as well too. I think that's really important. That's why I always recommend never completely eliminating power to this, but simply splicing into that. So we'll get our hot leads pulled up here and we'll get those two connected and then we'll be done. Got our boat side ground. And our boat side power. All right, so this should tie this rear light receptacle into our boat power and our Raptor Talent anchor light. So the last thing to do before we button everything up is actually turn the main power onto the boat and make sure our rear anchor light works correctly, which is what I'm gonna go do right now. All right, guys, just flipped on the rear anchor light. As you can see, our Minn Kota Raptor anchor light is functioning correctly. So I'm gonna heat shrink these up, put everything back together, and that will conclude the installation of the Russell Marine Products Minn Kota Raptor Anchor Light.